Shoo! How's it going, folks? Welcome back to another episode. We're starting the vlog off away from you, Quacky. Can you still hear him? Yeah, you guys can probably still hear him. Anyways, Quacky's doing quacky things. It's actually in the evening. We only got about an hour, hour and a half before sunset, uh, starting off a new video here because we're hopefully gonna be uh, finishing up the majority of this enclosure. It's almost done. I'm getting another barn bigger than that one. It should be delivered next week. Um, we've basically just been waiting to bring the animals over. Actually, we could probably, we could probably let the goats come in here and graze. We could lock them up in here while we're working at least. But basically what we gotta do is, these are 16 feet long and you're supposed to have a T-post in between them, basically every eight feet, just like this. This one has them every eight feet, which is good because this was the difficult side. That side, we do not have them in. So we're gonna try to, my goal today, before dark, because it's gonna get cold tomorrow. I know, I feel like I say that every video. Oh, it's almost, this is the last warm day. This is the last warm day. It's supposed, it keeps getting warm and then cold. It's gonna be like a high of 20 tomorrow, which is not gonna be good for driving T-Post. So today, right now, when it's like upper 30s, we're gonna try to put a T-Post in between all of those right there. And then obviously we got the zip tie action, which is not gonna be the strat, especially in the winter, especially when you got giant goats like Rick. So we're gonna try to wire some of it. I know I know for sure we're not getting the wiring done today, but I'd like to get all the T-Post done and as much wiring as physically possible before dark because you can always wire stuff in the cold it's not the end of the world but driving t-post and frozen ground not that much fun but let's go ahead and let's go let the goats out let's let them give it a dangle in here while bonzo plays with posts and stuff like that you know whatever bonzo's good at and we're gonna get the tractor actually you want to go let them out i'm gonna get the tractor running because that thing hasn't been started in a while so i gotta make sure it works there we go all right go come on rick rick let's go come on let's go. Need the board. Sheesh. Got them in, boys. Yeah, hey, they're good. They'll graze. There's some new grass from. I'm warming up the tractor. We're gonna try something different. New approach. We're gonna try using the tractor. I don't know if the tractor will work on this. We can try it. It's pretty strong, but maybe it won't work. It's stronger than us. It's, I don't know. You're kind of drinking that drinking that uh, muscle milk. You know. You know what I mean. All right. You can hear them. They're they're crunching. So we're gonna grab the tractor. We just gotta make sure we got a post. I think we could probably do have a post about every. There's one on the inside there, so we'll have to throw that to the outside if you wanna. Yeah, I think there should be one just about lined up. Yeah. So, all right, we'll get the tractor. We'll try, uh, we'll start with this one here and see, see how that one goes. Shoo, well, that was a lot easier than, than the first time. What do you goats think? Are you about this life, Rick? Are you about the new pen life? Hey. I got, I ain't got no treats, buddy. He's probably just gonna break out of this thing in two seconds, like everything else, we'll have to hot wire the inside. But we took the tractor and now there's reinforcements. Hopefully every eight feet is enough. You need more than that, then I don't know what else to do. Um, like I said, the, the solution is just run a hot wire, just like we did on that one. You'd only really need one. You don't need, like that one's like a four tier. You wouldn't even need that. Cause we, this is, I mean, it's a pretty structurally sound area you just don't want them rubbing up against it and pressing up against it we left that one blank and that one blank because to get the new barn in we're gonna have to kind of tear this all down well at least this front gate because that gate's not big enough for like a big semi to come in but we're gonna try to get some of this stuff wired up we've got some tools and some ga gadgets and gizmos and stuff it's all tangled not not good huh that one didn't work i don't know really this. it's not it wasn't big enough maybe this one's bigger and then and you, use you, the tool? Use, you gotta use the tool to bring it down and around somehow What's the back of this? What's that back of that oh, thing? No, this doesn't look like before this step. It's all. It's already on there. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. I yeah. couldn't get both sides on by myself. Yeah, that's just a bender. I think that's when you have it over. Yeah, otherwise we, we might just have to use some. Oh, you're starting. You're getting. It. You're getting her bent. Look at you, Hulk. You gotta like bend it up and arm. I mean, you can just use normal pliers yeah. too. The bend. It should bend that piece back on the other side. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's working, but it ain't working. We'll get it figured out. You guys just enjoy the time lapse. Well, folks, we've uh, we've got most of it done. We got all this up until pretty much just right around the barn. So we've got that, I would say like 
60 to 70 percent done today so not bad not a bad day we, we used the tractor as you guys saw which was clutch but the tractor for sure would not have worked over here where the gravel is because there was even a couple spots over on that side where the front end of the tractor would lift up it's just not a big enough tractor it's a great idea not a big enough tractor for the job but we got all the t-posts in we got like i said about 60 70 percent of them all wired up all we gotta do is finish wiring them and then finish basically the gate area we could finish those two and we're good i've got a pretty strong feeling we're gonna have to run a hot wire just one you know maybe at like hip level ish just to keep rick from rubbing because when they were in here he would like walk alongside which i'm sure he's scraping and that's fine he can scrape all he wants against that barn and trees and everything else as big as he is he was kind of pushing i could see everything leaning and i could just see him eventually wearing everything out i mean even with them all wired up and having a t-post every whatever seven eight feet um i still feel like it's not as secure because if you really want it to be secure you would do a woven wire fence with some wooden t-posts wood not t-posts but with just wooden posts kind of in between it because it'd be stretched tight so when he's pushing against it it resists these are like really flexible so you know it it'll work for what we need but i just like i said i've got a feeling we're gonna have to just run run a quick little hot wire just to make sure he can't go up against the fence or you know maybe he maybe him going up against the fence won't hurt anything we're, we're gonna find out but i guess we'll see you guys tomorrow just kidding folks you are not gonna believe can you see oh, you can see good enough i guess you're not gonna believe what we just found i thought he was gone for good but look at this i know it's dark and you guys can't see it but look that's james pond dude he's all torn up if you guys missed the video he died something killed him he was inside the chicken coop i don't know why i'm talking quietly as if like the coyote that killed him is like around the corner like they're on to us i don't know why i'm talking quiet you guys get the point but we were literally driving like up this road and Bonzo saw something white right here. And we jumped out. This is him. This is James Pond. Like I said, if you guys saw the video, we found him dead in the chicken coop and we set him out for not bait, kind of bait, just to see what would come get him. And the trail camera did not work. It did not catch basically what came and got it. And when we came out, he was gone. Like they drug him wherever. They drug him here. I thought he was like gone for good. I thought a coyote took him to freaking Narnia. He's here. So I think we we obviously need to like, I don't know why, why something would just drop it off here. Like if it was a coyote, I feel like it would have just kept going. And if it was a raccoon, I think it would just ate it there and then left. The only thing I could think of is like the turkey or, or quacky scared him. And they like tried to run like they ran up this thing right here. And for some reason they just like dipped. I'm not really sure what, what the deal is, but I think we should go put him back because whatever it is, is used to eating James Pond like two, three nights now. And so I think we should take him, go put him back and set up another trail camera, two trail cameras. That way we make sure we get the footage that we need and see what comes and gets. I cannot believe he's here though. I thought we looked, we looked all around. We, we looked at all the feathers and everything here. The last thing I expected him was them to drag him up here. So we're going to, uh, we're going to run him down there and uh, put a trail camera out. And I guess we'll see. We'll see you guys in the morning. Now, now you guys actually get something to look forward to in the morning, not just twist tying wire around a, a fence. It actually might get interesting because we're trying to figure out, are we up against a coyote? or a raccoon, or a bobcat, or Sasquatch. Those are the options right now. So hopefully the camera tells us. See you guys in the morning. Shee boys, winter is here. It's uh, it's freezing. Look at Bonzo. Yeah. Bonzo's looking- It ain't warm. Bonzo's looking good. John, yeah, you look real bundled actually. It's starting to kind of flurry. How are you? She doesn't care. She's like, I'm a freaking mountain dog. I love this weather. You know what? I'm not a mountain dog and I don't like this weather, but we're gonna go down and check on the trail camera to see if James Pond got moved. I'm, I mean, I'm hoping he got moved that way. We know something came by, but with it being so freaking cold, I mean, he probably froze up and there probably wasn't much scent to it, but the uh, the animal that's been down here has been here about every night. Red. It's gone, Red. it's gone. Red. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna know. Look, there's a feather. They didn't leave it in the same spot. Dude, I pray to God the cameras work, please. We're gonna know what it is. No, that ain't it. There's and it can't be the turkey. No. The Unless he flew out of the coop. No, I, I can see him. So. He's in, he's still in the coop. It's gone. We put two cameras so we know for sure that it's going to work. It's gone, dude. Look at this. It's freaking gone. I don't see it anywhere. Dude, this is going to be crazy. I cannot wait to look at this footage. I'm so excited just to see what it is. But quick update. We put the heater in the pool. Look at the pool. Everything else is frozen. And they've got an entire pool now. How do you feel about that, Quacky? Perfect. Anyways, let's... uh. Let's review the footage. Dude, I'm so nervous. I know this is, might not be a big deal to you guys, but like we've been trying so hard to find what the killer is. And that camera, did, it got all fogged up because it rained. It didn't rain last night. Everything's frozen. We put two cameras out. We're gonna try this one. Quacky, we will find the killer. We will avenge James Bond's death, okay? Millie, we gotta figure out what's been lurking around the house, okay? And then we're gonna go on a hunting mission. Oh, fingers crossed. Oh, it was off the whole time. I'm just kidding. Ha, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> 19 clips that's not that many but it's enough okay nothing 
This is us. This is us. Oh, here's a night shot. Night shot, it's gone. It's gone. Oh, what is that? What is that? Play that. It's an a, owl! Owl? It's an owl! It's a big ass owl! That thing's huge! Oh my god! It's an owl, dude! You can't even hunt those! What? That makes so much sense, dude. You were right about something yeah. flying off with it. The question is, was that the original thing that killed it? Could have been. You can't even kill owls! We can't even protect them from that! Oh my god, dude, it's just, just it's just chilling. It's a big, giant owl. Dude, a giant owl. Millie, what's the strat? You can't even kill an owl, I don't think. No, you definitely can't. How do you, how do you protect against an owl? Like, you would have to put a top on this whole thing. Mill, this is bullshit. I wanted to go kill a coyote. It's an owl. I guess it's a good thing there's no coyotes around here. I mean, yeah, no, it's not it's not a bad thing, but it, it does make sense because we were we were contemplating, you know, maybe something was crawling under that that area over there. It was just flying in. It, it, it used a cheat code like in GTA when you type a code in and all of a sudden a helicopter just lands in the middle of the street. That's what that thing did. It just landed in the middle of it. Quacky. There's nothing you can do about it. Do you think an owl would try to kill a perfectly live animal? I don't think it would be able to. Like, I don't know if it would be able to. Yeah. Like, I don't, dude. James couldn't escape. I gotta start Googling something. Like, how do you... I, I, gotta, I gotta start studying the owl, you know? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta be close... What do you what do you say? Be Keep one your one with the owl. You gotta be close to your friends and closer with your enemies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that saying. That's what we gotta do. We gotta make friends with this owl. I don't know what to do after that. Now, do you think the poop was an owl poop? Yep. That one up there? No, the no. I no, didn't see that. Oh, it's right here. I'll show you. Oh. Actually, now I think about yeah. You ever dissect owl pellets as a kid? In like school? Do what? Who dissect does that? Dissect owl pellets. What's an owl pellet? No. Is yeah. it big like that? I just thought of that. Yeah. I remember Bro, we did that who, in class. Who, who goes through owl poop? No, for for school. Like, really? Oh, for school. For shit. school. Uh -huh. Bro, yeah, 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 yeah. but like for I've school. still never heard of that. No. Yeah, we like dissecting frogs in yeah. school. Yeah, we did owl pellets too. It's an owl, bro. <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> Quacky. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, buddy. Yeah, like let it let us know. What do you guys think would be like able to protect? We we put the see we put the tur look he's chilling. But we kept him in the coop all last night to protect. Do you think that turkey could, could kick an owl's ass? If so, I say we just leave him in there. I mean, I don't think it's a bad idea to keep him in here. How's this going? Sheesh, guy. Hennifer, I'm sorry. You're laying an egg. I apologize. Look at this poop. Kager. Oh my god. That's what I'm saying. That's why I was like, it has to be a coyote or something large because like nothing small. But an owl, a beefcake owl. So that's what you're you dissected owl poop as a child in school. In school, yeah. And you're saying that that's what it looks like yeah, it in does. school. You just played with poop. No, bro. <laughs> you like a detective? Yeah, but it sucks because I was wanting to like like put a yeah. tent up and like wait for it to come in and like bah, bah, bah. throw an axe at it or something, like we can't do anything. Let us know. We need to start doing some Googling. And um, it's keeping the turkey in here, the strat. I feel like it can't hurt. I, an owl, I feel like, would be scared of a turkey. I mean, he's a beefcake. Come here, Tom. What are you doing, beefcake? You got to protect. That's your new role. I know you thought you were here for Thanksgiving dinner and we saved you. Okay? Now you owe us. We gave you, we did you a favor. Now you owe us to protect these little guys. Look at this little guy. He's so freaking cute. Oh, see you later, dude. I don't see, I mean, we don't see his, car his carcass anywhere. You know what I mean? Like, I'm debating, like, should we should we bait again and put the camera up and just see, like, if there's anything? Or what, what do we do here, folks? See, we, we need some help in the comment section down below. What do we do? What do you do when you have an owl that's killing your animals? And I'm, look at the snow. Speaking of that, it's beautiful out here. It's glistening. You guys see that in the, in the sunlight? Does my face look prettier than normal? I don't know what we're gonna do next, but you guys should stay tuned. Shoo, how's it going folks? We are now at a retail store, Bass Pro Shops. We are going, we did some Googling. Bonzo did some finessing on the, online. He got on his browser and uh, found out what What do you think we should do? There's a couple different options. What are the options? One was hide in a bush and scare the owl. I say we do that one. I'm not I'll a bush you. hider though. I'm not a bush hider. Oh, no Fortnite? And you might be, but I'm not. Yeah. You look like a bush guy. You definitely look like a bush guy. Uh, what are the, the other options? The option was get like a coyote decoy and like they wouldn't come around. So. Like a big dog, like a, just yeah. a dog. Yeah. Is we, do you have third options? Or? Uh, noise. What about a net gun? Can we shoot it with I a don't net think gun? That's legal. Can we shoot it with a net gun? I don't think so. Do they even make net guns? 
in movies they do. We don't have a third option? The third option was like a noisemaker. They like sold these noisemakers, but they're online and I really didn't want to wait a few days because the owl could be back. What about like a they, like a goose decoy? You think if we just threw out a huge full body spread, <laughs> well, we it would trip them out? <laughs> if they had a fox or anything else, anything else big. Anything big. Yeah. Just need something big. Yeah. Maybe we can buy one of their mounts in there. I know they got full body mounts. Mountain lion. Dude, what? Do, why don't we just go to like the taxidermist and offer them a bunch of money for like a moose or you just and just kill put a it, in, and then get it or okay, we don't have time for this. Anyways, <laughs> our options are somewhat limited, but we're gonna we're gonna try to find. I think our goal would be try to find a coyote decoy, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically set it all up exactly where James Pond was, kind of fluff up the feathers again. Or maybe there's something in here we could use that looks like a duck that it would come back to, and put whatever the deterrent is and see if it comes back and see if we can scare it away enough. Otherwise, I don't really know what to do because yeah, obviously you can't kill owls unfortunately for us just because not that i want to go out and kill owls i just want to take care of the problem you know what i mean that's i'm not saying that i want to go just start killing owls for no reason it, it would be a pretty cool catch gun. not gonna lie. anyways i'm getting off topic here we need to uh we need to go inside and see if we can find something to deter the owls bro look at this part this would this? this would totally deter because it's light oh i'm serious i know it would work Dude, if we put this, because we have electricity now. Dude, if we if we put this by the chicken coop, there's no way an owl would come. Because it, that part's lit up, and it's just big in like the wind. You said moose, reindeer, kind of same thing. And it, that looks like kind of an animal. All right, done. Where's, where's it at? Can we just take this one? We gotta go find it. Yeah. Oh, they've got even more. Oh, look at that one. I don't, I, we didn't think about it. That would totally work yeah. though. Because like, there would be sound from like the, the machine running, and there would be lights, and a large, scary looking object. Santa Claus. Totally work. We gotta go find, I don't know where the hell they sell these things, but we gotta go find it. This is it. We, we're changing plans completely. We're going from having one coyote decoy to every single inflatable here we're buying. 100%. Well, we might need to buy a couple extension cords or something, but yeah. penguins with a fish and a fire. We got the Santa Claus. Perfect. Reindeer. This is a giant 11 foot long airplane, so we'll take that. Santa Claus with a big bass. Okay, yep, the, the sniper tower. We need a sniper tower. Is that it? I think they uh, only have five. So this is gonna be what we're doing to deter the owl. If the owl still comes back, um, we'll run out of ideas. Like I said, our initial plan was come in here for a coyote decoy. I think this is much better. We have sound, we have lights, and large objects that might be frightening to some owls. We're gonna go check out and uh, start getting these things set up. Shoo! And we are back home, folks. How's it going, Felipe? All right, good talk. Quacky, what's going on, buddy? What's going on, Quack? <laughs> Hi, bud. You guys gonna go for a little swim? Look at you got a nice hot tub. Your pool's nice and open because I put the heater in there instead of these little doggy dishes. Now you've got a bathtub at all times. How's that make you feel? Anyways, we are back with all five inflatables. So we um obviously this was where James Pond was. R.I.P. My guy. Right here. So. We've got to, I, I think our plan's probably just gonna be to surround this whole area. So we can do like one, two, three, four, five. Like basically just put five all around this entire chicken coop just to uh, keep everything away. Not just this area, because obviously if the owl is gonna come back, I mean, he's gonna just try to swoop on, swoop on anybody. Could be Quacky, could be Hennifer Lopez, could be Tom the turkey, or if with any luck, it could be Felipe, which we'll keep our fingers crossed for that event. We are going to see if we can get this thing to happen. I don't know how much voltage power my shop is rated for, but we're about to plug in five inflatables into one outlet. So it'll probably blow the breaker. We'll see. Bond's an electrician, luckily, so we'll be, we'll be good to go. Boom. We're starting off with... This one is the inflatable Santa truck with the, uh, the old RG in there. We're going to start with this guy just because the box is already pretty much opened. Probably got returned, probably has a hole in it. I've actually never blown one of these up before. Bonds, have you ever blown on this? What? I figured you'd be, you'd be the one to ask, you know? Oh, this looks pretty easy. There's, there's, there's your weight. There's your plug. This is when you know what you're doing. When your contraption looks a little bit something like this. Oh, that's good. Let's freaking go. All right. Oh, she's giving it a dangle. Sorry, I missed that. Could you say it again, please? Siri, shut the hell up. Hey, she just randomly goes off in my pocket. Big. That's pretty big. Shoo! <laughs> Take this, owl. He does. He kind of looks French. He's got like a mustache that curves up. Dude, that was the best like $300 I ever spent. Dude, paintball. That's what I'm saying. Quacky, 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 
That was long as she he he ever. Anyways, how's it going folks? We just got it all up and looking good. We got penguins that are doing a catch and cook over here holding the fish over the fire. We've got uh freaking sniper McGee over here uh shooting shooting deer out of there. Rick's got a 12 pounder in the back. We got Rudolph pulling uh Santa on some skis, which yeah, I guess that's I guess that's what water skis look like. He's water skiing. And then we've got this guy who's just got a giant airplane. I feel like this this should work. Now, I originally planned on having them kind of all around the coop, but we got a problem with that. Our extension cords would just be everywhere and it would just cause a huge issue and uh, we didn't want to have to do that. This would be good enough. Like, if an owl still comes, I... Bonzo's got to go in the bush. I mean, that's that's really our only solution at this point. He has to play peekaboo with the owl, which I know all you guys are going to want to see that, so hopefully that happens. But what we're going to do, since we have all these out, over here is where James Pond... This is where James Pond was taken last night. We're going to put the trail camera back where it was, pointed this way. Just to see, does the owl come back to this area or do any of these other animals get taken tomorrow night? Because if if, if they get taken tonight, then I don't know what to do, man. I mean, how about every inflatable they had? Maybe I've seen more inflatables. It's like Will Ferrell saying more cowbell, more inflatables. That is the solution to life, more inflatables. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you guys think this is a good idea? They, uh, they all have lights, by the way. They're, you can't quite see them. You can kind of see this one just a little bit. There's two right here. Uh, but all these have lights. So I'm thinking lights, the sound of the fans, you can hear the fan. You can hear the fan and objects with, you know, that'll move a little bit in the wind. I mean, these things are, things are giving, giving it kind of a quiver. Just a little, little, little dance. I don't know. We have sound, we have visual lights, visual items, and lights. Sound and visual items. What did I say? Those three things, which are all three things that should deter animals in my opinion. I don't know what else I could do. You guys, again, you guys will have to let me know. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put a camera out and uh, we're gonna come back tomorrow and see if anything comes to investigate these feathers right here or if our new setup worked. See you guys then. Hey, how's it going, folks? Millie, it snowed. It's, uh, it didn't really snow enough to really make this thing slide. I just kind of destroyed all the grass and the rock and stuff like that. But hey, how's it going? It's the next day. It's cold out here. And we got to check the trail camera. I know. We got to check the camera. It snowed. And uh, all the inflatables are up. Brush off Santa. Clean his car off. Look at that. Oh, the, the wing is in the way of the camera. Nice. This is a really good camera angle. Just, just a big yellow wing. The snow, I blame the snow. I don't know why we put it so close. I swear it wasn't this close to begin with. I wouldn't have done that, I would have moved it. I don't see uh, James Pond's feathers because there's snow now, so. We're gonna quickly go over this trail cam footage just to see. Maybe the wing was in the way the entire time. Maybe it caught a glimpse of something. But on a good note, everything stayed blown up for the most part. I feel like it worked. Like I drove I drove past here last night, like after dark. These things are really bright. It's not like they're just like have these little lights like you can see now, like they're actually really bright. So I think it'll work and keep all the owls and stuff away but we're just gonna take a gander and see we've got 200 clips lots of owls there's a lot of owls maybe probably not it's a lot of quacky clips oh yep and then it started snowing and it's still snowing quacky quacky's just doing making snow angels and then it's the next morning nothing nothing came last quacky nothing came last night buddy how does it make you feel we're out here we're out here protecting you with uh an obnoxious amount of inflatables but we did it. We protected the, the animals last night, which is good because that owl has been back every single night. But uh, I would say that's a dub. The good thing about the snow, what I love about the snow, tracks. You can see where animals have been. You know, obviously we just trampled this all down so you can't see it now. But like after a fresh snow, you know if anything came. You know, like we saw on this trail that there was deer and stuff like that. So on a good note, if anything else gets clapped inside the animal enclosure, more than likely we'll know because there'll be some type of footprints of some kind. But that's pretty much it. Like I said, if you guys have any ideas on how to keep the owls and the predators away, I know you can string like fishing line 
and stuff so they, they can't fly through it but it's kind of hard with this because it's a it's a like a mobile maneuverable thing and uh, like a coop basically and it's not it doesn't sit that high but i know that'll work but let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below what else could we do to protect because i mean I don't know if this is super practical like in july you know just don't know if this is like the idea right now it's festive and it, and it works you know beyond the holiday season i'm not sure if i like this strat of having a bunch of inflatables also it's probably not cheap on the electricity bill i guess i'll find that out here soon i mean they rip 24 hours a day so that's another thing to kind of think about but anyways let me know what your guys thoughts are in the comment section down below how to prevent owls and everything else let me know thank you guys so much for watching and peace ah, ah, ah.